But we have to be vigilant uh, and especially ensure that, uh, in my mind, we want to make sure that we're not using one-time money to fix our problems. Now, I was trying to think of, of an analogy to use, but the first thing I would emphasize is that you know, we talk about federal dollars as if they're not our tax dollars. But these federal dollars are the tax dollars coming out of our left-hand pocket. The state dollars are coming out of our right-hand pocket. So the person sitting at home doesn't care whether they're federal or state, they're paying those taxes. We have an obligation to make sure that those tax monies are spent wisely. And the analogy I was trying to think of is, given the mortgage crisis, the difficulty with foreclosures, I think, uh, and again, I'm going from memory, I don't have a copy of the speech in front of me, but I, I think the governor mentioned $3.4 billion in economic stimulus coming into Ohio that he was using in this budget. Now, at the beginning, he talked about living within our means. And then he talked about $3.4 billion coming in from the federal government. Well, that $3.4 billion, while it may not be a loan that we have to repay, repay to the federal government, at some point, that $3.4 billion is going to come due. And that's going to be in two years. So if we use that $3.4 billion to fund programs that have a three-year, four-year, ten-year life, Who's going to pay that $3.4 billion bill three years from now and four years from now? That's where we have to be fiscally conservative. We have to be prudent. We have to make sure that we are very careful in how we use these stimulus dollars. That we can't go on a big spending spree just because we got a check. Because someday we're going to have to pay, and that's going to be two years from now. You know, we have too many families today that worry about their security. And, and I would liken what we're doing and what could possibly do with this money to someone who maybe a year ago saw that really nice house that they wanted, but they couldn't quite afford it at a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. So they took the teaser rate, and, and they, they got that mortgage for 3%. And, and they went out and they bought that house that they couldn't afford at 65 or 7% but they forgot that there was a balloon payment in two years. And when that balloon payment came due and the rate jumped to six and a half or seven percent and they couldn't pay the bill, they lost their home. That's where we have to be careful with this money. We don't want to get sucked in by a low rate and, and the allure of a $3.4 billion check only to face a balloon payment two years from now that we cannot pay taxpayer dollars. And in my mind, we treat them the same. Uh, we are ready to hold hearings, uh, to, uh, to pass legislation, to allocate the federal dollars in a responsible manner, uh, and to do it as quickly as we can. Uh, I, I would point out that uh, you know we worked in a bipartisan manner uh, last, less than a year ago when we passed the uh, economic stimulus package here in Ohio, the $1.5 billion economic stimulus package. You will recall that a significant part of that plan was getting those dollars into the economy right away. Um, I, again, I'm going to go from memory, but I think we had $200 million set aside that we were going to take from the rainy day fund because we could borrow that money from ourselves, but immediately put that dollar into the economy, put people to work. And yet, as I'm sitting there listening to the speech, I'm, I'm asking myself, well, we just had an economic stimulus plan seven months ago, how much of that money have we spent? And, and I didn't know the answer right off, and I had to ask the question when I got back to the office, and sadly, we haven't spent a whole lot. Um, just in the, to put it in perspective for you, uh, that law was signed by the governor seven months ago. The legislature received that, that the bill on May 12th. We passed it two weeks later on May 28th. So it moved through the legislature fast. The goal was to get the money into the economy. But here we are seven months later, and, and according to my notes, none of the $200 million from the, uh, uh, the uh, tobacco settlement fund, or I'm sorry, the budget stabilization fund for public works and the local government transportation improvement program have been spent. That's $200 million. We could have people out there working. 
The $4.5 million of the logistics and distribution money, we set aside $50 million in 2009, $4.5 million was allocated to a project in Youngstown. And again, it's been seven months. The budget included, or I'm sorry, the stimulus plan included a program of co-ops and internships through the Board of Regents, but those don't even start until 2010. So it's sort of interesting to hear the administration talk about the urgency of getting this stimulus money into the economy, the need to go through the controlling board as opposed to go through the legislature. When the track record is, we did it in two weeks, it's been seven months, and we're still waiting to see how they're going to spend that money. So again, questions that I have as I'm sitting there listening and trying to keep my reporter hat on and understand how all this is going to work. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. The case is taken under advisement.